Quartus has several useful windows. The code editor is the main window in the center. You'll be using this the most. You can have multiple module files open in this window, and you can jump between them by clicking on the tabs at the top. On the left is the project navigator. You can see there's a drop-down menu that lets you adjust the display. The two most useful displays for this class are Hierarchy and Files. Hierarchy display allows you to see the structure of modules in your project. The first module is your top level. If you click on it, you can see all the modules instantiated in it. You can click on those modules to see what modules they contain as well. Files display shows all the module files included in your project. This makes it easy to look at and edit them. You can also change your top level module here by right clicking on the module, which is useful in larger projects. Below that is the Tasks window. When you're ready to compile your design, you can double click Compile Design in the Tasks window. You can also click this icon up on the taskbar, or you can press Ctrl L. As Quartus compiles your project, it will display the progress in the Tasks window. It usually takes a few minutes to complete. You'll notice a new tab appeared in the code editor. This has information about how compilation went, but you won't really need it for this class so you can just close it. If everything went well, you should see all green check marks in the task window. However, when designing a project, it's normal to make mistakes. If you have a syntax mistake or some other error that prevents your project from compiling successfully, Quartus will let you know about it down here in the Messages tab. I'm going to introduce a couple errors into this project to show you what happens. In my AND, I'll delete the semicolon on the assign statement, which is a syntax error. And in my inverter, I'll write a second assign statement for out. That would cause out to receive two logic statements simultaneously, so Quartus won't allow it to compile. I'll compile again with Control L. You can see in the tasks window that Quartus fails to compile. Also, you can use the messages window on the bottom to see what the errors are. You can filter the errors from all the other messages by clicking the red X symbol in the window. Double clicking on an error will highlight the exact line in the file that caused the error, which is convenient. Also, you should only handle one error at a time. Often errors can produce more errors that will go away when you fix the original problem. On the other hand, some errors won't show up until you fix errors that appeared earlier in the compilation process. Notice that when I fix the first error and recompile, I get a new error message from my inverter that didn't appear before. There are also other error messages below, but you'll see that fixing the first one makes them go away too. Clicking the other two icons will filter critical warning messages and regular warning messages, respectively. These can occasionally be useful for debugging as well, but most mistakes will show up in errors. Finally, the window on the right is called the IP catalog. You won't really need to use this in this course, so you can close it if you like to create more space for the code editor. <laughs>